Hi and welcome to Vishnu Vishnu Vlogs. I'm Vishnu and today we are going to learn Roman numerals. Are we all ready? Let's start. Roman numerals are just another way to represent the numbers that we use in our daily life. And as the, num as the name shows, it has been used by the Romans. But in the present day, most of us just use the Hindu Arabic numerals. Let's move on. So first, let's learn the basic symbols that make up the Roman numerals. The ones that are going to be listed are the ones that are the basic ones. There are seven um, letters or symbols that are used to represent these numbers. So they, they actually use the letters in our alphabet to represent numbers. As you see, I is 1. V is 5, X is 10, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, M is 1000, and that's it. Those are the seven letters that, or seven symbols that make up the Roman numerals. So uh, let's get to rules. Each of these symbols can only be repeated three times, but we will look at um, what can be done to represent like four, five, seven, nine, and etc. Now let's look at the patterns first. I'm going to be showing some numbers which do follow a pattern in the next slide. Here they are. So these are numbers, or I've given you like a bunch of numbers. Now. If you want, pause the video and look at the patterns in these numbers. Did you find them yet? Okay, if you're just stuck, let's move on and I will tell you what the patterns are. The patterns. What did you notice? For the numbers ending in 1, 2, or 3, this i is simply added once, twice, or thrice. So adding the i will signify that 1 has been added to the value that is there. So if it's like 0, and if you just try like 1, like here, it just means that it's 1. So let's look at the examples. Um, so for 11, it is 10 is x and 1 is i so it's 11 is x plus i so x i 32 is 30 is 3 x's and 2 is 2 i's so 32 is 3 x and 2 i or x x x i i the other parent or what did you notice um if you looked at the patterns and the list that was given to you, you could see all the patterns there. This is the second list, this is the second type of patterns that you may have noticed. So if the number has been repeated three times already in that sequence, the number of values that is left till the next num nearest number that is represented by a different symbol is placed before the nearest number that is represented by a different symbol. This may sound complicated, but when I give you examples, you'll get it. This means that the number or value that is placed before the symbol is sur subtracted from the number that is represented by a different symbol. So I know this may just be like so complicated. So I'm giving you examples. So example is four, it is nearest to Five. So, in order to represent four, how many digits um, is four from five? Like, it is just one. So, four is five minus one. But in Roman numerals, what you do is, if a number is placed before, um, if a value or whatever you want to call it, is placed before another one, it means that it's subtracted. So, four is represented as IV. So, um which means that it's one away from five. This works for like tens, hundreds, and even thousands. 
So exam another example is 400. It is just 100 away from 500. 100 is C and 500 is what L. So it is, I mean, 500 is D. So it is represented as C, D. This also works with the value that end in nine because you can only add up to three. This works for like four and nine. So nine, uh, that's the example. It is one away from 10. So it is represented as IX, which means that it's one away from 10 or like 10 minus one. Another pattern that you may see is that for the numbers that after, um, for the numbers after the number ending in five in a sequence, I is still added to the number for the limited number of times, like three. So six is five plus one. So it is represented as VI. 68 is 50 plus 10 and five plus three. So it is LX VIII. -I -I. Um, 777 is 500 plus 20, um, 500 plus 200, 50 plus 20 plus five plus two. And it is represented as DCC LXX VII. And these are the rules for thousands and more. Although each symbol can only be repeated three times, it will be hard to represent numbers such as 4000 since there are no symbols to represent the number 5000. There are three ways to solve this problem. Number one. You or one can just write the symbol M as many times as anybody can as one desire or one want in order to represent the value he or she wants to represent. Although this may be um, not following the rule for Roman numerals, that's how anyone can do it because there's no other, there, there are other ways, but this like one of the easiest or easily, like you can kind of easily understand this. So 4,000 would just be M, 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 like M, four times. Number two, to be fast, one can just draw a line above the value um, that they want to like show as a thousand. The line shows that the value has been multiplied by 1000. So 4000 will just be um, IV with a line or an overline, or which will just mean that four times 1000. And the third way is one can also draw brackets around a number to show that the number has been multi multiplied by 1000. So 4000 will just be IV in a bracket or parentheses. You can also draw brackets twice if you want to like multiply it by another 1000. Example. 99,993 is XCIX with an overline above them and CM XCIII without an overline. 99, so we're just gonna um, break these bricks down. 99,000 is XCIX with a line over it. 900 is CM, 90 is XC, Three is I, I, I. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any comments. And bye. See you.